Mr. Commissioner, I have a question uh, of how are you going to address the issue of Crimean Tatars now after the aggression of the Russian Federation towards the territory of Crimea? And my second question is, uh, are you going to look and how are you going to look into the cases of so-called Volotnaya Square protesters that were handed down sentences right after the Sochi Olympics? And some of them, those sentences are rather severe. Thank you. Thank you. I have not yet, as I said, I have not yet visited Crimea, but I have received very alarming reports about the human rights situation in there, uh, which I hope to be able to investigate uh, firsthand. Reports about abductions, reports about ill treatment, reports about attacks on journalists, and uh, also reports about the marking of the doors of houses inhabited by Crimean Tatars. Uh, the, uh, recently, the Framework Convention on the, the Protection of Minorities, uh, the Advisory Committee of the Framework Convention, also flagged concerns about uh, the rights of Crimean Tatars. I've had several telephone conversations with leaders of the Crimean Tatars, and they are quite concerned because uh, already uh, up to 5,000 Crimean Tatars have left Crimea uh, for Western Ukraine, primarily women and children. So the situation is of grave concern. I have not been there. I hope to go there. Uh, I intend to go there uh, in the near future. Uh, regarding the Bolotnaya uh, case, uh, cases, uh, I, it is beyond my mandate to examine individual cases, uh, but we did examine the administration of justice in Russia uh, following a country report last year. And I found many, shortcom many shortcomings. We found some progress, uh, especially on these cases which are highly sensitive uh, and much still needs to be done to strengthen the independence and impartiality of the judiciary. But I could refer you uh, first and foremost to this report, which I think we tried to be as comprehensive as we could because there's a very large case law uh, in the European Court of Human Rights uh, regarding Russia, re regarding the independence and impartiality of the judiciary. Uh, and we tried to mention <clears throat> in passing many, many cases, uh, although we did not focus on these or any other cases in particular, uh, but uh, examine the problems underlying uh, the independence and impartiality of the judiciary. So I would recommend my report on Russia to you.